Gillespie uses the Huff screen. Skips to Wills, and that's a three that goes down. I'm sure at some point during that 0-7 start to the season, he wondered if he had any eligibility <laughs> left to run the team. Gillespie fading away, got it over Windler. As a defender, and it looked like he had won that matchup, and Goodwin able to react. And now the shot's starting to drop for these two teams. And you see the presence of Huff. Reigning, you said it's a G League Defender of the Year, led the league in blocks, always averages up around three blocks a game. Funk lets it rip for three. Ooh, that was funky. It's off the iron, picked up by Gillespie on the run. Funk with him, Gillespie faking the pass, taking it right at Noel. 5.20 to go, lead is up to 11 for the Knicks. Tyson wide open, a knockout blow from deep. Funk fires another three. On Wednesday night in a game where you thought maybe he would be one with the absences that would elevate and take over some more of the play, only nine points. Brown misfires. Funk open, that's automatic. Four point Grand Rapid lead, four minutes into the second half, Gillespie on the move. Two hours of practice a day. And then time for Monopoly. Gillespie follows it up for three. Gillespie working on a triple double, 17, seven and nine. And one. Crafty maneuver as he draws the foul against Bay. Career high 32 for Charlie. Gillespie has the answer. A dead on to another two way deal after he was on that type of contract as a rookie. Step back, crossover. Oh, that was pure. As he pulls his team back into it. Crowd engaged on this Friday night in White Plains. Gillespie off balance, gets the bounce. The arc so far, a good play out of the timeout for the Westchester Knicks to get a shot they like. Off the dribble, Gillespie got it from deep. 